The reason I'm sharing something so basic is because you will be confronted in your ministry by those who do not believe that Jesus says he was who he said he was. Most false doctrines and cultic teachings have errors at the point of who is Jesus. Most of the time, they say Jesus is less than who Jesus says he is. Some false doctrines or cultic teachers will say that Jesus was just an angel or he is just a spirit. Some say that he is just a prophet among many good prophets. But Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man comes to the Father but by me. Jesus said, I am not just a way, I am the way to the Father. To understand who Jesus was, we're going to consider two subjects. First, Jesus is the Son of God, and secondly, Jesus is the Son of Man. 在这里我们要强调一点，就是耶稣说：“我不但是神子，而且我也是人子。”One speaks of his divine nature, the other speaks of his human nature, but both of them are important to keep the balance of the teaching of Scripture. 一个神子是谈到他神圣的身份，人子是谈到他在人的意义上，他要尽人的意义。I want you to look in John chapter 1, verses 1 through 5. John约翰福音第一章，第一节到第五节，我在这里为你们念一下。太初有道，道与神同在，道就是神。这道太初与神同在。万物是借着他造的，凡被造的没有一样不是借着他造的。生命在他里头，这生命就是人的光，光照在黑暗里，黑暗却不接受光。In this passage of scripture, when it refers to in the beginning was the word, the word word is Jesus. 这里说太初有道。在英文里面意思就是这个话，那这个话，这个道就是耶稣基督自己。You remember in our previous teaching, we talked about the word logos and rhema. This is the word logos. 这里所说的道，就是以前我所提到的，希腊文上的logos跟 rhema，这个道就是logos。So it says here that Jesus was in the beginning. And he was with God, and he was God. So this speaks of the fact that he is the Son of God. He was in the beginning with God, the scripture says. All things were made by him. So John is trying to tell us that in order for you to understand who Jesus is, you must know that he is the eternal Son of God. 
。约翰在这里所说的“万物是借着他造的”，就是要让我们知道他就是，呃，永在的神。In that same first chapter of John, look at verse 14, or record that in your notes. Here, you will write down John 14:14. It says, "God has made him who has flesh to live with us. He has given us his spirit. The spirit is the word of truth. In him we have seen his glory, the glory of the only begotten Son of God." In verse 14, it says that the word who is Jesus was made flesh and he dwelt among us. That is, he came into flesh to live among us. He says, "Flesh and blood have not entered into him." 就讲他实实在在的成为人，住在我们中间。And that he had the glory of the only begotten of the Father. 因为他有是唯一的这个荣耀，是从父那里来的。The Scripture says that uh, he, in this verse, he was a God man. He was Emmanuel. He was God with us. 他讲他这是以马内利。Look at John 3:16, or record that in your notes. John 3:16. 这一讲约翰福音三章十六节，我们所熟悉的这个经节，这里写呃说到的，神爱世人，甚至将他的独生子赐给他们，叫一切信他的不至灭亡，反得永生。Again, it speaks of Jesus as the only begotten Son. He is saying that Jesus is the only begotten Son, the Son of God. Thus, we see that Jesus is called the Son of God. So here, he says that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Make reference in your notes to First John, John the Epistle, First John, chapter four, verse nine. 这里我们在提到，在约翰一书第四章第四章第九节，这里说，神差他独生子到世间来，使我们借着他得生。神爱我们的心，就在此就显明了。These are just a few scriptures that will help you to be able to confront、uh, any false teaching. Or any cultic teaching that says Jesus was just a prophet, or he was just a good man, or he was a spirit, or he was an angel. These scriptures tell us that he was the Son of God. These few scriptures are clearly showing us that Jesus is the Son of God. He is not a prophet. He is not a spirit. He is not a angel. He is just a man. 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 或他只不过是一个，在是一个灵界当中的一个灵，但是这里所说的强调，耶稣就是神子。Now for your notes, I want to give you fifteen different testimonies by different people in Scripture who said Jesus is the Son of God. 在这里，我要再再提醒你们，有这里圣经上面告诉我们有十五个见证，见证。耶稣就是神子。The first example. 第一个的例子。And for your notes only, we won't read these passages. Record Matthew 14:33. 你们记下来，我们不念这些章节。你们记下来是在马太福音十四章三十三节。This is a testimony of all of the disciples. That's the first testimony. They said of a truth, "Thou art the Son of God." That's what the disciples said. 这是他的门徒亲自说的。他说：“你就是神子。” Another testimony, the second testimony, is by Simon Peter. 第二个是彼得所说的。For your notes, record Matthew 16:15. 在你的这个笔记上，请记下来《马太福音》十六章十五节。Peter said, "Thou art the Christ, the Son of the Living God." Peter said, "You are Jesus, the Son of the Living God." The third testimony is of the Heavenly Father. The fourth is of the Heavenly Father. 
A record in your notes, Matthew 17, 5. And a synoptic passage, same reference, Luke 3, This scripture talks about the transfiguration of Jesus and at his baptism as well. At his baptism, the father said, Thou art my beloved son. At his transfiguration, he said, This is my beloved son, hear ye him. So we have the testimony of all the disciples, testimony of Peter, and the testimony of the Heavenly Father. A fourth testimony is by the centurion, a Roman soldier. In Matthew 27, 54, when Jesus was dying on the cross, the centurion said, Truly, this was the Son of God. The fifth testimony is by Mark. In Mark 1, 1, he says, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. The sixth testimony is by an unclean spirit. In Mark 3:11, in Mark 5:7, and Mark 5:7, this unclean spirit said, "Thou art the Son of God, the Son of the Most High." So even the demons acknowledged that Jesus was the Son of God. The seventh example is an angel. In Luke 1:32, uh, Luke 132, the angel announces, "He shall be called the Son of God." In Matthew 1, 23, the angel says, He is God with us. That's what the word Emmanuel means, God with us. Example number eight is the demons or the, or the devils. In Luke 4, 41, James 2, 19, The devils proclaim, Thou art the Christ, the Son of God. The ninth example is by John the Apostle. In John 1, 1 through 3, and verse 14, and then John 13, 3, he says, In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God. And the Word was God. The tenth example is John the Baptist. In John 1.34, John the Baptist said, I saw and bear record that this is the Son of God. The eleventh example is Nathaniel. 
In John 1, Nathaniel says, Thou art the Son of God. The twelfth example is Thomas. In John 20, 28, Thomas said to Jesus, My Lord and my God. The thirteenth example is Paul. In 1 Corinthians 1, 9, Paul said, He is God's Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Then we have the testimony of the Jews. In John 197, they said he made himself the Son of God. They understood him to teach he was the Son of God. The final or the fifteenth example of testimony is by Martha. In John 11, 27, she said, I believe thou art the Christ, the Son of God. So we have these 16 references to different people including God the Father who said Jesus is the Son of God. So again, when you're confronted with cultic teachings or false teachings and they say Jesus was not the Son of God, you can share these verses and the testimonies of these people. Next, I want to give you some references of what Jesus said about himself being the Son of God. I've heard people say to me uh, in my country that Jesus never said he was the Son of God. People said it about him, but he never said it. I'm going to show you Jesus did say he was the Son of God. Again, for your notes, I'm going to ask you to put the reference down, and then I will quote it with the interpretation. There are 17 references of Jesus telling us he is the Son of God. The first is recorded in Matthew 11, 27. Where Jesus said, All things are delivered unto me of my Father. No man knoweth the Son, see he calls himself the Son, but the Father. Neither knoweth any man the Father save the Son. Again, he calls himself the Son of God. And, and he continues to conclude the sentence, And he to whomsoever the Son, referring to himself, Jesus, will reveal him. So here clearly Jesus refers to himself as the Son of God. 
The next reference, number two, is Matthew 2663. The question was asked of Jesus, Are you the Christ, the Son of God? And Jesus answered, Yes, you have said. You have said it right. The third reference is Mark 1461. They ask, Are you the Christ, the Son of the Blessed One? And Jesus' answer was, Emphatically, I am. And when Jesus uses and speaks of I am, that reminds us of who God the Father said in the Old Testament, who sent me. He said, say, I am sent me, or sent you. Again in John 3:16 through 21. It speaks of Jesus being the only begotten son. In John 5:17 and it's an extended passage through 47. Okay, Jesus said he was the Son of God. Then reference for your notes, number 6, John 6, 27 through 65. And the scripture says, Not that any man hath seen the Father save me, which is of God. Okay, he said he, and he speaks of himself, has seen the Father. As the living Father has sent me, and I live by my Father. So here again he makes the claim of being the Son of God. The seventh example is John 7, 28 and 29. He said, I know him, and the reference is to the Father. For I am from him, and he hath sent me. The eighth example is John 8, 16 through 58. The scripture says, He that has sent me is with me, referring to the Father. The Father hath not left me alone, for I do always those things that please him. The ninth example of Jesus' reference to himself as the Son of God is John 9.35. Scripture says, Dost thou believe on the Son of God? And Jesus said, Thou hast both seen him, referring to himself, and it is he, referring to himself again, that talketh with thee. And the blind man to whom he was talking said, Lord, I believe, and he worshipped Jesus. The tenth reference is John 10, 15 through 38. The scripture says, I and my Father are one. He said, I said, I am the Son of God. 
The Father is in me, and I in Him. The eleventh example is John eleven four. The eleventh example is John eleven four. Jesus referred to himself as the Son of God glorified. The, the twelfth example is John 12, 44 through 50. Jesus said, He that seeth me, seeth him, that's the Father, that hath sent me. The thirteenth example is John 14, 7 through 24. Scripture says Jesus referring to himself, he says, I am in the Father and the Father in me. Number 14 is John 15, 1 through 27. In this verse, he refers to the father as my father is the husbandman. The 15th, the 15th example. What does a husbandman, husbandman mean? That's the one who tends the, a garden or the trees, trims the trees. Oh, sorry. The uh, John 16, 1 through 33 is the 15th example. The scripture says, All things that the Father hath are mine. I go to the Father, I came from the Father. The 16th example is John 17. 1 through 26. Scripture says, Father, this is Jesus speaking. Glorify thy Son, referring to himself as the Son of God, that thy Son may glorify thee. The glory which I had before the world was we were one. As thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee. So again, Jesus refers to himself as the eternal Son of God. Finally, illustration 17 in John 20, 17-31. Jesus says, I ascend unto my Father and your Father. To my God and to your God. So here you have the references of Jesus referring to himself as the Son of God. So you have the many witnesses who spoke of Jesus as being the Son of God. And you have the references of Jesus himself saying he was the Son of God. And those references were found in the gospel accounts of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Now the next point of our topic is to see what the scripture says in the book of Acts through the book of Revelation about Jesus being the Son of God. What we're trying to do is to give you a good foundation 
to thoroughly understand that there is absolutely no question as to who Jesus is. He is the Son of God. And that he is the only begotten of the Father. There is no other. So if someone comes to your country or to my country saying, I am the Messiah or I am the Son of God, he's a liar. There's only one Messiah, only one Son of God, and that's Jesus Christ our Lord. So you don't have to be intimidated or frightened by some cultic group that says, well, our leader is the Messiah or the Son of God. You can say, no, the scripture plainly says only Jesus is the Son of God. Now let's go through the books of, or some of the books of Acts through Revelation to see the testimony of these writers saying Jesus is the Son of God. The first example is Acts 3.13 where Peter is preaching and speaking and he says God hath glorified his son. He calls him the son of God. The second testimony from Acts to Revelation is Romans 1, 3, and 4. Where it says, He is declared to be the Son of God by the resurrection of the dead. Third illustration is found in 1 Corinthians 15, 24 through 28. It says, Jesus, Jesus shall deliver up the kingdom to God. Even the Father. When all things shall be subdued unto him, that is Jesus. Then shall the Son also himself be subject unto him, that's the Father. So, and put all things under him. That God may be all in all. So the book of Acts, the book of Romans, now 1 Corinthians, attest to the fact that Jesus is the Son of God. The fourth example is 2 Corinthians 1, 3, verse 19, and then 2 Corinthians 4, 4. It says, He is the, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Son of God, Christ, who is the image of God. Illustration number five is Galatians 1 16. And chapter 4, verse 4. 
where it says he's referred to as God's son. God sent forth his son. The sixth reference is Ephesians 1 3. And 3.14. It says, speaks of God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Which again means he was the son of the Father or the Son of God. Number seven, the Philippian letter attests to the fact that Jesus is the Son of God. Chapter two, verses five through eleven. It speaks of Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, yet equal with God. The eighth example is found in the Colossian letter, chapter 1, verse 3. And verses 15 through 19. It says, God the Father of Christ, who is the image of the invisible God. For by him were all things created. And, and for him. And he is before all things. And by him all things consist. Therefore it pleased the Father, that's the Father of Jesus. That in him, that's reference to Jesus, should all fullness dwell. And then in Colossians 2, verse 9, it says, in him, that is in Jesus, Dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Again, stressing that Jesus is the Son of God. Illustration number nine is 1 Thessalonians 1 10. We're to wait for God's Son from heaven, even Jesus Christ. Not only in the first letter to Thessalonica, but in the second Thessalonian letter, chapter 1, verse 1, but in the second Thessalonian letter, Paul says, God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Illustration number 11 is from 1 Timothy chapter 1 verse 2. Chapter 2 and verse 16. It says, God the Father and Jesus Christ our Lord, God was manifested in the flesh. In the second letter to Timothy, chapter 1, verse 2. Paul speaks of God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. And then in Titus 1, 1 and 4, and chapter 2, verse 13, it says, God our Savior, God the Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior, 
the great God, our Savior Jesus Christ. The fourteenth example is from the letter of Philemon. Since there's only one chapter, it's verse three of that one chapter. It says, God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The book of Hebrews is the 15th example. It's chapter 1, verses 1 to 5, and verses 8 through 10. Hebrew writer says, God has spoken to us by His Son. Whom He hath appointed heir to all things. By whom also He made the worlds. Who being the brightness of His glory. And the express image of his person. That's a reference of Jesus being the express image of the Father. And upholding all things by the word of his power. The illustration 16 is found in James 1 1. It speaks of, of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ. Example 17 is from Peter's writing. 第十七个例子是彼得所说的. 1 Peter 1, 1.3 Peter says he is the God and Father of the Lord Jesus Christ. 他这里讲神, 呃, 父神跟我们的主耶稣基督. And the final example of the accounts from Acts to Revelation is number 18. 第十八个例子上面说, is Second Peter one one and verse two. And I said it's the final, but it's not. <laughs> there are some more here. Uh, actually, the goes on to verse to uh, another here nineteen. We have the testimony of of this passage of scripture in the epistles of John. 这里说约翰一书一章七节 1 John 1.7 约翰一书一章七节 It speaks of Jesus Christ, God's Son. 他说耶稣基督神子的儿子 Second Epistle of John, which has only one chapter, verse 3 在约翰二书只有一章是第三节 It says God the Father and from the Son of the Father, the Lord Jesus Christ. 他讲说神父父神从父的儿子主耶稣基督 The third epistle gives testimony 第约翰福音第三约翰三书 This is example 21他这个这是第二十一个例子 Third John 11 他这个是在十一节 he that doeth good is of God, but he that doeth evil hath seen God. And in Jude 1, speaks of God the Father and Jesus Christ. And then the final net one is example 23. 最后一个是在启示录, 
Jesus himself is speaking in the Revelation account. In Revelation 1.8 and 2.18. Jesus said, I am the Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the ending. Which is and was and is to come, the Almighty. So here you see the examples as to the fact that Jesus is the Son of God. You have the examples of what others said, including the Heavenly Father. You have the examples of what Jesus said about himself. And these two areas of testimony come from the gospel accounts. Then we've given you what the references of Acts to Revelation say about Jesus being the Son of God. So there can be no doubt. Jesus is the Son of God. Would you say with me aloud, Jesus is the Son of God? Amen. Amen. God bless you.